Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I want to use some of the supplies that I've just done in my um, birthday haul. No doubt there'll be another haul coming because my birthday's not till Monday, so I've got a few bits already collected to, to show you. Um, so I thought we'd do a quick picture in Seasons because it's gorgeous paper. We can test out our pastel watercolour paints from Derwent. I'm keen to give them another shot and the gorgeous light files pencils that um, I've done one picture in Caroline, Carolina Kupakowska's but as we all know that paper is just unstoppable it's incredible so I thought we'd do this page together I thought it was nice and spring like summery you know all those things that we're all looking forward to at the moment <coughs> excuse me let me have a sip of drink so I'm going to use my um, I don't really know how you pronounce this but I got these set of paint brushes in another haul that come in this cute little box and they're natural hair so that's the name of them um, and they come in this cute little box that's rather difficult to get open you get all different sizes they're really cool brushes so I want to wet the paper first um, and I have tried this in my spare copy um, and these paints do seem to really like to well, like layering up so we'll give that a go so I'm just going to wet my brush because it's brand new and it hasn't been used just going to wet my brush and dab it off just a little bit on the paper and then I want this wet to go on to. These brushes are good because they hold quite a lot of water without overwhelming the page with it. So I'm just going to make sure I've got all that section wet. And then we're going to give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to put that to one side. Now I'm going to use my um, Stationery Island. I can never recall the name of that. And we're going to use the blue in this Derwent, my little Derwent pastel set. There is a review on my channel, or a swatching on my channel. And we're going to use Cornflower Blue. These paints are out of this world. So I won't zoom in right now. I just want you to see what I'm, I'm doing. So I've got a damp page and I'm just going to spread this paint from the edge out and they will dry beautifully pastel-y but um, as, as the name suggests Lucy but then we can go back in which is the clever point and deepen up that edge around these bottles that's the plan anyway folks just pray it works now if not, if not, no panic. We can um, we can put pencil over it and, and play with it or whatever, you know. Let's just go with the flow and just enjoy a little bit of free creativity, shall we? Which is not like me, but I, you know, it's got to be done sometimes, hasn't it? I'm just going to make sure that's wet enough. Because I just want that to sort of bleed out, as you can see it's happening now. So I'm going to start down here and then we can spread the paint around. And it just sort of blooms on the page, it's just incredible stuff. And just push it about. So these do go really well, it says, with the ink tense pencils. Because you can relayer them, which is what I'm hoping we'll do. So I can get a deeper edge on these bottles. And then, so it f just is going to fade out into the palest shade I can possibly get. There. So and I'm just going to use my water brush and push that around. And then we'll come back in and we'll mess with it when it's dry. I suppose we could come in a bit closer, can't we? So we can mess and layer with these when they're dry. So 
So I keep forgetting to wet the page, so let's do that. So I want this lovely blooming effect that it gives us. Can you see? Do I need to move you over slightly? Yeah, so I'm just wetting it, and as you probably will pick up on the camera, you just get a nice sheen to the paper, not pools of water, just a nice sheen. Let's put that back in there. Get a bit more of this beautiful cornflower blue, and you can see it go. And we just get this beautiful edge to the paint which is exactly what I was looking for just so it, we can get it, we'll spread it further but um, but because I've wet the page first and I'm using a water brush it, it just, they just bloom out, they're incredible beautiful lovely paints I don't want to overwork it because we can play once that. Let me move it over slightly. There you go. We can play once that the page is dry, and um, really spread that colour out. So I'm squirting my water brush. Something I wouldn't normally do, but seems to work. This paper in the old. Um, Hannah Carlson books seems to take this kind of abuse, you know, it's kind of um, less temperamental. I don't, I'm not sure about her new books. I know Kirsty, uh, Kirsty Colour and Sketch, she does a lot of watercolour work and it's incredible, I'm really enjoying watching her, her uh, videos and it's kind of inspired me just to stop being so scaredy pants <laughs> of everything and just try all these beautiful supplies and have fun you know that's what we're here for isn't it it's a hobby I'm not trying to be a commissioned artist that wants to sell our work for millions of pounds so just enjoy the process and let it be what it is okay so we are getting I've squirted my brush, squeezed my brush, and we are getting that kind of already. But this will dry much lighter. Um, that kind of haze that I wanted, that, I'm going to push that off. Bit too much blue there. But we'll spread it out. So I'm using quite a lot of water, so it'll be interesting to see. I could have used my um, my drawing gum. Um, what am I trying to say to you people? I am so sorry. Um, my I don't know what I'm trying to say. Watercolor. What is it called? Oh my goodness. This is happening to me a lot. I'm getting quite concerned about my memory, to be fair. I laugh about it, but it's actually becoming quite a problem. Let me see. What is it called? It's my watercolour draw. I'm being a doofus. Um, masking fluid. That's what I'm trying to think of. I could have used my masking fluid pen to do this, but um, I didn't, alas. Never mind. Right, put a tiny touch there and bring that up. And what I'm going to have to do is leave this completely alone and let it completely dry. So, um, what I'm going to do is put some in the palette on the lid and let that become very watery just so that I can fade this in so that there's colour on it but it's just a, 
the palest possible colour I can get. And then folks, we are going to leave the page alone until it completely dries. Move my water before I have a disaster. Put a bit more blue in that. Dab it in there. Okay. I think. That's as much as I'm going to do to this poor page <laughs> until it is bone dry. So I'm going to take um, in my little drawer here a couple of these teeny bulldog clips and what I'm going to do is take that page out. I'm going to clamp it down, stretch it out and clamp it down. So let me come out so I can show you what I'm doing. So I'm kind of pulling the page out and then I'm going to stretch it. So I'm stretching it and then I'm going to clamp it. Hopefully I'm going to let this air dry and hopefully that will stop the page. Um, you can't see what I'm doing. I need a bigger desk people, <coughs> a wider one. I was thinking of getting worktop, kitchen worktop and putting it on actually over the top of the desk that I've got so that will bring it out and make it more durable yeah. so what I've done is clipped all around the page and I'm going to let that completely air dry before we come back and do anything with this page because it is very wet alright my lovely people I'll see you in a second hey guys so actually it's a few days later and the page not surprisingly it's completely bone dry and I had put these little bulldog clips on if you remember just to hold the page down while it dried to stop it crinkling so much so let's get these off so the reason why I didn't come back and finish this was because Saturday morning I it's now Monday the 17th my birthday um, so yeah it's done really well look minimal crinkling um, I had my second Covid jab and oh my goodness it's made me feel so poorly so uh, all day Sunday in bed and um, went into work today and I've just wiped out but I want to do some colouring and I want to do play with these gorgeous new pencils of mine so anyway I've caught you back up let's bring you in now I know these are teeny tiny spaces but I'm thinking of doing the seeds bottle in these colours. So I've got these beautiful greens from this light fast set. Spruce green, foliage and grass green. So spruce green our darkest, foliage, uh, grass green being our lightest and then the foliage gives a gorgeous like olive colour. They're just incredible pencils. So, they're really tiny, but I want to play. So, this was all about experimenting with them. So, I'm going in with Green Earth. And I'm going to put that in. They love this paper. Okay. And then I'm going to put some of this olive in. Look how they blend on that colour. They just... Oh, they're beautiful. And then I'm going to put the deep at the bottom. So I know it's a lot of colours for a teeny tiny little space. But I want to play. So it's all about me learning, getting... Could you even see that? No, you couldn't. I, my apologies. Look, we'll do some more. So it's about me learning how the pencils behave. And... What they blend like. So that's... a coating of green earth so I wanted to see what it'd be like then 
when you put a new colour over the top. So this is foliage and more of an olivey green. So I'm going to put that at the top and look how they respond. I hope you can see that colour change there. Just and then we're going to put the uh, spruce green at the bottom. So isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning colours. So we're going to do round the little buds too. Yeah, so I had my second Covid jab, so it should be me protected now. Um, Saturday, and by Saturday evening I had a raging headache and um, hot and cold and felt really poorly and that's gone on all weekend and today. I'm a bit better today obviously because I went to work otherwise I would have been stuck in bed but my the children at school bless their hearts when I got in to the classroom they had filled the whiteboard with happy birthday Lucy and uh, all sorts of just really cute lovely messages on there for me that they'd done on Friday afternoon before they left and it melted my heart it really did so and then I've been showered with cards from them I had these are so teeny tiny I'm gonna try going in with just the foliage um, I had a bunch of flowers from one of the lads that I work with and this one is Green Earth, so let's try that one on its own. See the difference in the colours? Aren't they beautiful? Just deepen that up at the base. Yeah, a bunch of flowers. My colleague brought me a plant, which is going to sit in my office window here with big pink flowers on it. It's beautiful. I can't remember what she said it was called, but it is lovely. Um, green Earth darker at the bottom and then let it fade out. I might even just go over the base of that with the foliage. Just changes that tone. Um, I had a, a box of chocolates. I had um, two of the year 11 girls that were about to leave made me brownies and let me get it and show you they made me chocolate brown as well for everyone and then they made me this little notebook look put my name on it in shiny beads and there's notes inside so I won't show you the front cover but I've said I wanted to write down what I'd used for um, my colouring for my channel and um, so they brought me that and that's sweet bless their hearts yeah so I was a bit overwhelmed especially feeling poorly I was a bit overwhelmed with everybody's love and uh, affection so my sideboard is filled with birthday cards and my lovely friend Gina who's brought stuff for me to use on the channel she sent me a birthday card and yeah it was just just beautiful and it was just you know makes you feel very special and uh, oh I'm loving these by the way. So I've got um, Happy Mail and oh, gone out the lines. Let me get my incredible eraser. This is the Afmat raise, eraser, um, electric eraser, and it is amazing. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember, so I had a beautiful card from Gina, yeah, and it made me feel really special. And, uh, yeah, so, so far, it's still early, my husband's not home from work yet. But, um, so, other than the fact I feel pretty grotty because of the Covid jab, so far today has been wonderful. And I feel totally blessed and very loved. And I've just put up a, vi a video on the channel. Of, I've made these little sp spritzers, paint spritzers to use on backgrounds. Um, and I think for those of us that dread big backgrounds and big spaces, you can use them with stencils and cutouts. And um, I just thought it would help. So if you haven't seen that, 
go along and have a look. I have this feeling that it's not going to have very many views. But I wanted to share it with you. It's really good fun. I got really messy. And did the usual Lucy messing things up. Um, but yeah, it's really good fun. A really cheap, cheap way of making um, spray paints. It was actually the um, Tim Holtz ones that I was looking at the distress sprays that I wanted and realising how expensive they are and thought well I wonder if I can make something obviously they're not going to be like Tim Holtz but they work pretty well and if you get the right consistency in your paint which that's what you'll see in my video where I get that wrong um, they just they're beautiful they work really really well it's just kids paints so Okay, I think you've seen enough of me using those three colours. I am going to go round, let me centralise it for you. I'm going to go round the whole motif and do all the green. Um, and then we'll come back, do the branch, and we'll look at these. I think this sunbeam one, I think it's got to be yellow and oranges, hasn't it? I really think so. And the seeds, I was thinking, I wonder if we could bring greens into it, so it would bring the outside in. We'll see. All right, folks, I'll see you in a second. OK, so I've finished the leaves and I've had great fun with these pencils. They are incredible on this paper. Um, we are now going to have a look at this Sunbeams bottle. And predictably, I'm going to do it in a bright orange and yellows. OK, let me bring the camera in so we can focus on this little bottle. I have got come on camera, flame, amber gold and yellow. So let's give this a go shall we. It's quite bright. So I'm going to put the flame at the base here. Not too much. Just want it like it's trapped that sunshine. What's over the page? I'm just thinking about stickles. This, this book belongs to we can stickle it up as well, which would be gorgeous. So yeah, these pencils, while I'm experimenting, really do like this paper. I don't know what they're like with other paper, but just kind of gliding on it and the, they blend without having to think about it. going to go back in with that flame and blend that in better. Just let that fade out a bit better. It's been a bit too heavy handed with that line there. Then go back in with our Autumn Gold, this one. They have some lovely names. And blend that in better. Then, right at the top, we're going to put the yellow, which is a gorgeous colour. Apart from the fact I got blue over it, so that's not very helpful. But... Look at that. Isn't that lovely? What a combination. So, I'm just go using the yellow to go back over it. That's a bit of a shame, I might have to wipe that out. We'll see. OK. So, on the actual little... What have I got stuck into my book? A gel pen. On the actual little bottle, we're going to start with the flame at the top. So, we're going to go around here in flame. I'm going to bring that out. I'm going to let it fade out as we get towards that first light reflection there. Uh -huh. And we're going to do the same this side. Let it fade out. Just make sure I've got enough colour in there. Then we're going to take the amber gold 
bring that in. I'll go back in and blend better in a second. They do take a bit of getting used to. To say they lay the colour down instantly. So and they sound good on the paper. So I'm just going to go back in with that flame and lessen my pressure and let that blend in better. And over here. That's nice. There we go. Back in with our amber gold. Look at those super rich colours building up. I thought this was a nice summary page for us to do together and test these pencils out. So I'm going to bring that out and let it fade off. Like that. And then put the yellow in. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bright colour and it's really creamy. We're going to use that to blend. to do the bottle in greens but I'm not sure I'm a bit annoyed about that a little bit at the top there I think if I mess with it I'm just going to ruin the page and then we're going to deepen up that flame at the top And the amber gold. Make sure all those colours show up. Okay. So, impressions. I love them. They are amazing. I don't know if I can... I might need to just wipe that out and then put yellow over the top because it's bugging me, that little stain. So I've decided that I'm going to bring the two colours into each bottle. So this will primarily be the um, oranges. So I'm going to put orange there. Using the same three colours. And then I thought purple, and then I thought green, and so I think I've settled on like really in your face blue, really deep blues. I think that'll look really pretty. So it's just a question of where to spread them out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if, I, if I'm making any sense. So I'm going to do that. here and here with the yellows and oranges okay that's such a pretty combination that's so lovely okay now the other combination that I've thought about doing was these blues 
just because. So let me just sharpen them because I've been practicing like I do. And this is an incredible combination. These three colours are beautiful. Okay. Right. It's just the page off. I am going to put the Mm, yeah, we're going to do these first because these are such dark blues. So using the same combination of yellows and oranges, I'm going to put orange in here. Because we're going to be putting such dark blue in, I don't want to smudge all that orange. So we're going to do this first. However, I probably should have done it the other way around blue and then orange, but we'll see. Okay. That yellow is so creamy, it's beautiful. So I want just to mess with the colours on each side. So, then I've got these blues I was telling you about. Oh my goodness. Okay, so from darkest to lightest, I've got Dark Cyan, Mid Blue 70% and Ultramarine. Look at that combination. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to put the dark down the bottom here. And this is like the deep, deep, gorgeous, gorgeous blue. So we should get a lovely contrast for these colours. Okay, then we're going to use the mid blue and go over that. Look at this colour. We're going to let that fade out as we get to the top. Get back over it. Look at that. Oh, it's such a pretty colour. I'm going to go back in with the dark blue and blend that out better. I've got to get used to lessening the pressure with them because they're, like I say, they're very um, responsive. They're very, yeah, you're getting lots of colour out of it, if I'm making any sense. And I'm going to use this Mid Ultra, Ultra Marine to blend over that. And then we're going to do the other side. So, we're going to come up here with this, um, what did I say, it was dark cyan, it's gorgeous. I haven't used the Prismas for a long time, but I think this is possibly one of the darkest blues that I've got in a set. Don't quote me on that, just my opinion, people. And in with this beautiful mid blue. Let that fade out. Where do we go to? A little bit further. And then I'm going to go back in with that deep cyan and just make sure there's a better blend and then go in with our mid ultra marine and we can go over all of that with our blending now odd combination I know orange and blue but somehow it just works for me anyway I like it very nice. So, now it's just a question of where we're doing what. So I think I'm going to have these as orange, the bottle as blue. Mm, we'll see. So we're going to do these ones as well. I'm going to come up that way. 
Get that out, fade out. Back in with our mid tone. Let that fade out, and then our light colour. I didn't want to do those in the orange because I didn't want them to look like a flames. So, and although the bottles contain different things, um, I want them to have kind of a unity about them. This is what I went with, and obviously I'm experimenting with the colours as well, so I wanted to try these extraordinarily dark, beautiful colours that they've got in this set, in contrast with their lighter ones. How did they blend? How do they work? <clears throat> and I love them. And they're working extraordinarily well on this paper. all that. I just like the contrast between this this bright bright orange and this very deep deep blue. So what I have to figure out is where I'm going to place the blues and the oranges. So like I'm thinking, if I do this bit blue, they're going to have to be orange. But that would probably look quite nice. Blue, orange and the bottle blue, that might look quite nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, well let's go for that then. Um, okay, so we'll go in with the dark cyan around the edges of here. And this bit. Fade out, then we'll go in with our mid tone. Just make sure there's enough of that to show. And then our pale tone. And of course, someone's going to start doing some building work now as soon as I'm filming. same here I can always go in with a little bit of white if I want to lighten that centre up but I really like this dark rich blue so we're going in there. Just going to take the mid tone and blend that in a bit more. There. Do you like it? I just like that little bit of orange peeping through. They're going to be blue, I think. I don't know. <coughs> so. I 
just having a sip of drink while I think about it. So if I want those orange, this is going to have to be blue too. So, okay. So we'll do the dark at the top, missing those little, um, those little oval bits out. Put that dark in at the top because they can then have an orange or a yellow in them. And then our mid-tone. Bring that down. And our pale one. So that's how we'll do all those. We'll do those the same, so the dark, the mid and the light. Then this one at the bottom. I am going to ignore yeah, I'm going to ignore the shape and we're going to colour it colour over it with that really dark colour in with our mid colour so I think otherwise if I'd have done kept with the pattern I'd been in danger of page overload you know, too much. It's going to be in our faces enough as it is with the colours I've chosen. <laughs> but that's nice. It's nice to have. To be able to use your bright colours in your set. Okay. So, I'm feeling a little bit, um, birthday or not, I'm feeling a little bit um, agitated. And the reason I'm feeling that is because I just posted a video showing just how, just a bit of fun really, how I mixed up some spray bottles so that I could do a splattering effect, like um, a, yeah, a splattering effect on backgrounds. And um, within 10 minutes of it being put in up, I've got two thumbs down. And I don't normally comment because it doesn't normally bother me, but um, clearly somebody is not even watching the entire video before I'm getting a thumbs down and it, it gets on your nerves you know I know people are entitled to their opinion so I'm going in with the oranges here I know people are entitled to their opinion and they don't have to like what um, I'm posting but what gets me is I'm consistently getting the same thumbs down from people the same, sorry, not the same people, I don't know who it is. Um, they're not watching the whole video, but so what gets me anyway is if they don't like me or the videos I'm putting out, why are they still watching? You know, why are they? I just don't understand. I spend a lot of time and money putting together stuff for this channel, and it wasn't, you know a great masterpiece or you know revolutionary idea but do people have to be so I don't know I don't know maybe I shouldn't have mentioned anything at all but it just it does make me feel like why am I bothering sometimes do you know what I mean I thought there's a lot of people out there that worry about backgrounds and if we can find something simple that looks effective, why not try it? And it was just such a simple, easy idea that I thought I could share. But, never mind. You know, those people will do what those people want to do. But I just don't understand if they don't like me or my channel, why do they carry on watching? Just come off. Sorry, I'm having a little rant, but I wanted you to know that, you know, that's just it, how, that's how it makes you feel. It's like, what the actual honk is going on, people? Okay, we're going back to our dark cyan up here. Yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you. I was grumbling and moaning to myself. And, um... Yeah, I spend, like I say, I spend an awful lot of time and money doing my channel I love it but I just wish if people didn't like it just move on people you know life's too short 
anyway I'm thankful for every one of you that support me and show me love and friendship and I knew when I started this channel that you have to grow a thick skin you know that's one of the first thing that people tell you if you want to do YouTube grow a thick skin so there bit more of that mid-tone I think it's kind of got lost in that pale colour but I also know that you know I am not a master colourist which is why my like I said my channel name is Lucy Just Adds Colour it's a hobby that I have that I enjoy and I love sharing with you so you know I have filled in um, questionnaires on um, feedback to YouTube and I've said they need to remove that thumbs down because it's just not good for people to be in that situation. You know, you, you sort of air your heart and soul on these channels for some somebody to sit there and go, oh yeah, she's posted again, thumbs down. So how should we do this? I'm thinking... Yeah, the pale, paler at the top and come down to the dark. So let's do that. So we're using our pale. This is actually a really similar colour to that beautiful pastel that Derwent that we used. That Derwent paint. So I don't want to come too far down with it. It's very different for me, isn't it? It's very... um. Very bright for me. To blend properly. Yeah, sorry about my little rant there, people. I just felt needed to be honest with you and I was feeling a little bit blare about it, you know. I won't moan anymore. Okay, I love this colour. Absolutely love it. And I quite like the shock of it with the blue. So we are going to transfer this blue over to that side as well. go over it if I don't like it. Bring that light into this part because it's next to that sunbeams bottle and then put the dark in the bottom now. in with the mid-tone actually blends so well I'm having a hundred colors to choose from is bliss people absolute bliss and they're not hard like the artist pencils which makes it
even though I've done it the other way around to the other bottle. But never mind, people. Never mind. Right, let's come up here. Just a bit further, and then we'll go back in with our palest of the colours. Look how they build up those colours, aren't they beautiful? Okay. Bottle number one nearly complete. Go over all that, like we did at the top, get rid of any white spaces on the paper. There we go. There. I like that. I like it. It's different from what I would usually do, but I like it. So we need to bring this blue over here. So, what do we think, people? What do we think? Well, let's do the dark cyan in here. Then the mid-tone which is our mid-blue, bring that right up, like that, and then our pale tone, which is mid-ultramarine, okay, go back in, deepen up that dark, our mid, Uh, like it and our power one okay so here we're just going to use a little bit of the um, mid blue just so we keep that lovely tearly color and then our light color and same start again here. So dark cyan. A little bit of dark cyan in that one. Our mid blue. And then our what do I, why do I keep forgetting this mid ultramarine? And I'm going to put the deep one in, just a little bit further up, like that. Okay, deep one here. Now I might use my new spray bottles do around the edge all the splatters over the top I don't know I'm not sure see how I feel see how brave I feel when we get to that point might have to put a tiny bit of that dark in there just because it doesn't look the same without that dark underneath Okay, mid one. Just leave those dark. A bit more. See, look how beautifully rich they turn when you put more layers on them. Just beautiful pencils. 
and actually the more layers you put on the easier they are to colour just beautiful I really really like this I really like it right now I'm thinking about how to do these ones I'm going to have to do a different combo for the heart but round the centre of sunbeams we're going to have the dark cyan at the sides here Wishing me, people wishing me happy birthday. There's Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, I just want to make sure that that's kind of even. Then our mid tone. Now I'm going to leave those little frilly bits out for the time being until I decide what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do here, whether to bring that orange combo down I think and have a dark blue edge on it. Let's try that. So if we put the flame in. And then the amber gold you're coming along for the ride with me people I'm experimenting as we go along I hope it turns out all right and then our yellow so pretty um, yeah orange the flame amber gold and then yellow and the same on this little one here. That that um, flame is really creamy as well. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put flame on those little bits there. Can you see those? Yeah. Just because they'll stand out nice and bright. Uh, okay, now I'm going to do down here. And then we're going to have blue around those edges. Okay. So if I switch back to my blues and we take the dark cyan and we come down with that. Kind of committed now to that being blue, haven't I? Blue there. Then our mid tone. Do that heart. <clears throat> Back in with our dark. Okay, we need that dark in here. Those blue. There we go. I think it's really, really, I would never have put these two together if I wasn't, if I hadn't been experimenting with pencils, but um, I really like them together. Right, so I want, we're going to have the dark orange here, 
about like that. And we're going to put it in the centre there. Then we're going to take our amber gold. And then our yellow. Oh, I'm sorry. Getting carried away. There. Now, I just don't know what to put in the middle of them. I'll have to go off and think about it. I'm going to just step away have some tea and some paracetamol <laughs> let's come out so you can see what we look like so far I think it's looking beautiful um, and I like the combination that's been reversed on each bottle so I'm really pleased with that um, I'll go away have some tea paracetamol and then we'll come back and we'll um, finish it off together see you in a minute okay so I'm back I'm feeling a little better I've had my paracetamol and a cup of tea feeling a little better so Let's do the um, branch round here because I still haven't figured out um, exactly what I'm going to do with the rest of the page. Too many choices, people. Right, let's come in. So I've just got two straightforward colours for the. Well, I say straightforward, they are gorgeous. So I've got natural brown and Van Dyke brown. Gorgeous. So the natural brown is that beautiful deep colour that when I was swatching I was so excited about because it is brown without red if you know what I mean you can get a lot of sets that don't have this beautiful rich dark brown without red showing through and I love it so I'm just going to come up one edge and put this deep brown in Nothing fancy. It's just beautiful. I'm going to come down this edge. Because I can. And then, you couldn't see half of that, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to use this Van Dyke Brown. And we are going to fill the other half of that in. So, do you think my page is bright enough for experimenting? <laughs> I do. So that's literally all I'm going to do for the branch. So I'm going to go up one edge. And we'll come down here this side. With that gorgeous natural brown. I love it. And then put in the uh, Van Dyke Brown to fill in the gap. What a combo. I know this page is a bit of an experiment, but I'm really enjoying it. So I still haven't decided what to do those flowers at the bottom, but I'm sure once we, oops, once we get all these bits filled in, that um, it will come. I think the flowers here are going to be yellow and orange because we've got a lot of blue with the background. So that's what I'm thinking. And then I want to try and get it up to you as quick as possible. Because I'm excited to show you all the beautiful gifts that I've been sent and the other few bits that I got with money from family. So, plus the fact I know a few people are waiting on um, what I, what they think I think of these pencils. And I can tell you, I love the colours, 
I love the way they colour. Take some getting used to um, because, like I say, they lay down colour instantaneously and lessen it. It's like, um, oh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like when I got the Pablos, getting used to those. But once you've, once you've played with them for a bit, um, you, you get the hang of it. You know, it's like riding a bike, isn't it? You you pick things up and then don't forget. Oh, missed a little bit there. Put dark a bit there. So, and then I can go back over with the natural brown and really deepen that one edge up. but you don't need to see me doing the whole of that. Now I am going to, I am going to do these orange, yellow orange, these flowers, because I can. <coughs> and then I'm, I don't know what, I might mess about with the two colours down here. But I just really, I don't want it to be, I'm actually really enjoying the page and it was an experiment just to see whether I like the pencils or not, but um, I'm actually really liking how the page is coming out so just these few colours and I've used I've got a lot of the colours out and tested them so I have been practicing you know and playing so I'm going to start um, with these little buds with the amber gold and I'm going to put that in and the reason I'm putting that in first is because it's going to stop that I can control better where I put the bright flame colour because I don't want to overwhelm it it's just a little bud and then just on this little edge here just very lightly I'm going to introduce that flame so all the colours are there but a little more muted Like that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the amber gold. We'll do another one together. Put that over here. Then take, I'm just going to turn my yellow in the sharpener. I did buy a doll 133, I submitted because. When my hands are playing havoc with me, this is yellow, so we want it at the top here. When my hands are playing havoc with me, it's easier just to put them in um, a mechanical sharpener like that. But I do still love my M and R sharpener; it's my favourite. But that is extraordinarily good. So I'm going to put a little bit more colour here. There. So we haven't got it as strong as the bottle but all the colours are still very much present. So amber gold first, then I'm going to put the yellow in. Which gives us that nice brightness. And then, <coughs> oh excuse me, just a touch of the orange. Okay. Right, let's come out and have a look at that, see what we think. Okay, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm glad I chose to stick with the colours we've got. So I'm going to finish our wood, our branches, and the orange round here. And then by the time I come back, I will have figured out, hopefully, the centre of these, the little heart and the flowers. See you in a second. Okay, I've been faffing long enough. I can't figure it out. I really can't. <laughs> So, I'm going to go with the obvious. Now, I don't want the inside of that to be orange because the two will merge together. So, it's going to have to be in the blues. So, that's what we're going to go for. So, I'm going to bring you in. Here we go. And we're using the same blues, which I really like how this page is coming out with all the um, consistent colours. So, we've got uh, dark cyan again, uh, mid blue, and then mid ultramarine 
So mid blue seventy percent. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to start with the light blue. And I'm going to bring that down. Oh, just people wishing me happy birthday from Facebook and YouTube, and that's lovely. I've stopped moaning, people. I'm over it. I think it's just because I feel a bit ill, and um, yeah. Okay, so then we're going to bring this. I'm going to go round the letters. We're going to bring this, um, what colour is this? Gorgeous. Mid blue, it's lovely. So I'm just going over lightly, just to introduce that colour in. And what I did do was put a little bit of white um, gel pen, Arteza gel pen, over the bits that had got the blue watercolour paint on. Just so that when we put, <coughs> excuse me, when we put the colour on, I want a very pale colour for the water drops and lots of stickles. So we're going in here. I'll put the dark blue in in a minute. Okay, we're going to go back in with our pale one. I want to make sure that I get the blend right. Yeah, I think I was just feeling a little sorry for myself, and I don't know why. I've got nothing to feel sorry for myself for. I just don't feel great since I had the vaccine. Um, but on the upside, people, I am completely covered now had my two doses, I don't have to go through it again. And because I am vulnerable, clinically vulnerable, I, I get everything going. So, give me a new vaccine and I'm going to be ill. Put somebody, you know, in the room with me that's got a cold, I get it. And I get it like, knocks you out, get it. Yeah, so I'm hoping that by tomorrow morning I'm feeling a whole lot better. So this is the dark cyan. I'm just going around the bottom. It didn't turn out the colours that I'd said, did it? Right, back in with our mid-tone. I love how these layer and they mix their colours when you put the colours on top of each other they mix like the Pablos do like paint it's great okay I'm back in with our pale colour I'm just going to use that to smooth everything out There we are. So, these little scallop bits are going to be our oranges and yellows. I've got my stickles ready, people. So, we are, what are we going to do? We're going to go in with the mid tone, which is um, autumn gold again. And we're going to put that in. Gonna leave a little bit at the bottom for our yellow. Yeah, it's not a combination I would have put together, orange and blue, but somehow works on this page. Oh, that's my fault. <laughs> that's my fault. Folks, not the pencils, I'm pressing too hard. Okay. 
Right, now we're going to take that gorgeous orange and we're going to introduce a little bit of that in. Not too much, just a hint of it. And then these bits are going to be orange. This flame, this gorgeous colour, I love it. Okay, that's kind of like, can you see how I've snapped that? It's very annoying. Okay, all right, I think we're getting there now. So, I'm going to have to do that, the frilly bit dark blue and the insides, and the inside I think the oranges. So we're going to start with the amber gold. Yeah, I'm going to start with the amber gold. I'm just going to bring that up a bit further each side. There we are. Just come past, just past the right in, and then we'll put the yellow in at the top. Go back in with our amber gold. Build up. Let's neaten up that yellow with my very blunt edge now. Okay. And then I'm just going to run a little bit of the darker, deeper orange just along the base here. Just because. And then back in with the amber and build that colour up. Okay, a bit more of the flame. Are we happy with that? Not entirely. Run the yellow entire over the entire thing. Just smooth it out. All right. Now we need to do that edging. So I am going to take the dark blue, I think, and we're just going to just going to run that around the edge. Just around these little scallop shapes. There. Now I think that part I'm going to do in green is what I think. So 
let's get the greens that we had, which were these ones. We had, okay, I've got pine, which is our darkest. Pine, then spruce green, and then foliage. So, at the bottom of this little heart, I'm going to put the dark green, which is pine. Bring that out a little bit. Then we're going to go in with spruce green. Just because it's another colour we've already got on the page. <coughs> And then this is our beautiful foliage colour. It's lovely. I'll go over the whole thing. There we are. All right, I'm going to deepen that bottom bit up. And then bring up that middle tone a bit more. Spruce green. Because we've kind of lost that. There we go. Around that little, just gonna do that dark. Okay, then we've got the little strings, but I'd already blued that bit. So we're gonna have dark there, a little bit of dark on the edges. And as we come towards the um, bottle, we'll get lighter. Do it that way. There we go. There. Okay, so that answered that question. That solved that. Right, let's have a look. Move some of these gorgeous pencils out of the way. Now, our little teardrops. Let's find one. Or oh, not teardrops. Our little um, water drops. I'm just going to use light aqua. So, I'm going to do dark at the bottom and then bring it up. It's a very pale colour, but with stickles over the top. So light aqua. Gosh, it even covers that black look. Could you see that? Covered up that little black highlight in there. Where's the other ones? Here. I think if I'd have used anything else, does it covers up the black? I might put a little bit more, because this is that, a very light colour. I might get the next colour nearest to it. And we've got the flowers at the bottom. Let me tip you. There we are. I might find the next colour nearest to this and put a little bit darker at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> We've lost that up there. Can you see it's gone over the black line? Okay, let's see what other colours we've got. Where's my little swatch book? What have we got? Um, turquoise green. Let's try a little bit of, tiny little bit of that at the base of these because I just need them to stand out a little bit more. So sorry, where are you? Let's block everything else out. Turquoise green. I just need them to stand out a little bit more than they do. With just that aqua. Well, that's better. So, just a little bit at the base. We zoomed in too far, I can't. That's it, let's, let's try that. Yeah, so just a little bit of aqua, just so they stand out. Goodness me, I am sorry. And these ones at the bottom. And then we've 
we've got to do the flowers. Which, guess what colours we're doing them in? Yeah, that looks alright. That looks good. Okay, blend that one out a little bit more. This one here. Okay. Alright, if we come out and look now, we've got a really good. We've pulled all the colours in together apart from the little water droplets, but that's fine. So. It feels like we've got a lot of orange now. I am going to... I don't know. I was going to do blue centres with the orange is what I was going to do. And I think we're just going to have to go for it, folks. Or I could have done orange centres with the blue... No, too much blue on the background. Right, that's what we're doing. We're going with it. I've had enough of faffing now. No more faffing. Right, let's come in. Let's have a look at these flowers. So, we've got our three colours, same blues that we used. And I am going to go in the centre of the flower and just using all three colours, dot some of that blue in. So that was our mid-tone. This is our dark tone. And then we'll go in with our light. So just randomly put in there. Okay. Now taking the mid and the light tone, I'm going to do this circle of petals here on the inside. So our mid tone just at the base of each of them. I'm just being so not like me with these colours, but I love it. Okay, and then we're going to take our light one and just fill the top in. Even though I was testing the pencils, I like the fact that there are minimal colours on this page. Okay. Right, now I might darken that up in a minute, but we'll see. Let's go back to our, I'm just going to have to sharpen my yellow, so I broke it. And it's got a very odd edge on it. There we go, that's better. Alright, so coming out from those blues, we are going to do our yellow oranges. So flame, our... Amber gold and our yellow. So they're a combination of all the colours we've used, apart from the green. But I think they'll look like very odd. Magnolia, is it? No, not magnolia. Um, oh, I can't think what they're called. Marigolds. That's the one I was thinking of. Very odd marigolds. But cute. A little bit of the flame in there. And our yellow. Okay. Weird, I know, but I wonder if we changed those up and did the orange in the centre and the blue there. I don't know, because there's a lot of blue on the background. But you could if you wanted to. I think I'm just going to stick to these three, this combination rather, and then we're going we're gonna to put some gel pen on the dots. And we're going to put stickles on the bottles and we're going to put some white gel pen on there. So that's my plan. All right, folks, I am going to go and finish that and then we're going to come back and finish this glorious page together. And we're nearly there. I'm trying to stand my stickles up. 
<laughs> Alright folks, see you in a second. Right, so finally I've completed it. I've stopped faffing about and I've completed it. Now, <clears throat> I want to take um, my white Arteza 0 .1, uh, sorry, 1.0 gel pen. Let's come in. And I want to see if I can white out the bottle. So uh, I don't have a very steady hand, but I'm going to give it a go. Just the edge of this one. Put that white highlight in there as well. Cover up that dark. It just kind of lifts the way the bottle looks, I think. And then we've just got a few more bits that I want to add to the page. And then we'll be done. So that's that one. And then I am going to do this one very carefully. You are in shot. Yeah. I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way. I'm just trying to see how shaky I am. That's why I don't normally do things like this. But I did feel that Look how shaky I am. I'm going to try and push it up so that I can rest my hand. That's better. I'll go over that again. Let's put those reflections in and the reflection this side on this bottle. Okay, I will go over that shakiness again, but while that dries, I do want to add a little bit of something just to the edges. Now, um, if you remember, let's come out a minute, these gorgeous, they were really cheap. Um, they are water soluble um, gel crayons and they work really well on these makeup brushes. So I'm just going to grab myself a couple of pieces of paper just so that I don't go over. <clears throat> so I'm going to put it that side to block up, to block anything there. And I'm just going to put it underneath. So I've got two tones of brown and you'll think, oh my god, it's disgusting, but I don't know, it just kind of ages the page and makes it look really cool. So I'm taking this brush and I'm running this gel crayon along it like that, just gently just to get the colour along there. So this is the brown if you've got this set. They don't have names but... Okay, and I'm just going to make sure... There we go, that I've got it going. So I'm just going to do it from the edge and bring it in. I don't want loads. But, and then we're going to go over the top, we've got, there's like a really gorgeous caramel colour. So I'm just running it over the brush. There's like, yeah, really gorgeous sort of caramel colour that we'll put into. So I'm just on this page, just making sure I haven't got too much on my brush and it's not going to be blotchy. And then I'm just going to bring that in. And just so it looks a little bit like earth and then the caramel will go over the top I need some more it hardly, it hardly uses anything on to get the effect but I'm just going to put that back away before I knock it over and have it across the page. Just going to make sure 
we go, I'm going to run it up there, a bit deeper up there. Okay, so we'll wait for that gel pen to dry. We can put this on. I think it just sort of brings the page together. Just oops, smooth that out. Okay, I'll make sure that's gone. And then we've got this gorgeous like and it is just like a caramel colour. You see that? So I'm gonna do the same, run that on the brush. Make sure I've got enough colour on there. This is my favourite way of using these. Just and then I'm just going to put that caramel in over the top. I just thought I'd give it like that. I'm really really careful around my little water droplets. Just thought I'd give that sort of earthy look. Age the page and pop out the centre. So I'm just dabbing it off on there again, making sure we haven't got too much. Bring that in a bit. Yeah, just so that the centre of the page pops out. These two colours go really well together. I think anyway, something very different to what I would normally do, but I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> All this playing and experimenting. Okay. I didn't rub it off on the page first then. Mistake there, but never mind, it worked. So, I'm just making sure... I've got it everywhere. Could do with a little bit more up here. A bit more caramel on my brush. Dab it off. There's a video on my channel of these if you want to go and have a look there we are there, I like that ok, let's move my mess out of the way I just want to blend that a bit more You could use a fixed tiff if you want afterwards because um, they are quite waxy um, and I use the Frisk Pastel Fixer Tiff which is quite good. Right, okay, so I'm hoping that's dry. Okay, we're now going to bring in stickles. I love this part. Okay, I will go back over those. So, I've got, this is the only one stickle that I've got, but it goes over everything. I think it's diamond. Um, yeah, diamond, there it is. And it is just gorgeous. So, I am going to stickle up definitely. This dark blue is going to look beautiful with stickles on it. So I'm going to come up the centre. Just a gentle squeeze and let that meet at the top. A bit up the centre here. Can you see? Just going to show up so beautifully on this, these dark colours, a bit in the centre there. Okay, we'll do the same on this. Um, yeah, we'll do the blue, why not? Just so pretty. 
and we're going to do some on the orange too. There. Glittery goodness. That's what Colouring with K says. That's where I've got that from. I'm just going to put my hand. So I'm going to go round the orange on this bit. I love this diamond stickles because it will go over anything because it's clear um, and just makes it look beautiful. Okay. Um, I want to go stickle happy. So I did, I meant to say I coloured the seeds um, in the orange. So I'm going to let, have to let that dry, <coughs> but I'm going to do the little water droplets, if you can see. They are going to be done in stickles, but I got out, and I don't know where I've put it, and I'm such a muddle. I got out a jelly roll, and I can't find it. There it is. Goodness me. So I've got the Jelly Roll Stardust glitter ones and in it is this gorgeous orange. I don't know if they have co colour names. But it's out the Stardust and it's an orange colour. I can't see a name. Um, but it is beautiful. And I thought, while I'm waiting for stickles and things to dry, we could put some orange on those black dots just so they're not black and they go in with the rest of the theme of the page and then when my stickles are dry I will do the water droplets too I'm going to upload this tonight. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this page. Lots of different media, different colours to what I would usually use and that's thanks to the luminance, my lovely birthday present. Not luminance, uh, light fast, my lovely birthday present. Um, I've really enjoyed using the bright colours love the greens, love the pencils, they colour beautifully um, yeah so right I'm going to go off and finish the page with all my little dots and I'm going to stick all the little water droplets too and I'm going to go over that white line so it's all nice and neat and then I'll come back and meet you when I'm all done alright I'll see you in a second Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, so it's all done. Can you see the glittery goodness? Look at that lovely shine. I'm so pleased with this page for someone that has spent a long time shying away from bright colours. I love it. Um, it's totally not what I would normally do, try and colour things that everything like real, but I really do, I really love it, I hope you do too. I hope you've enjoyed my first experience of colouring with these gorgeous pencils, I, I really do believe they're going to become a firm favourite. Thank you to everyone for all my birthday wishes, it means the world to me, it really does. So, I will be back in the next day maybe, I'm just waiting for one more thing. And um, then I will do all the birthday goodness that I've got that you haven't seen yet. All right, my lovely people. Take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>